So it looks like we have a high priest, high priestess energy here. Somebody could have been trying to stop you from getting off on your path or trying to take you off of your path. We have Ace of Swords energy of victory. So we have victory here for a high priest or priestess. Someone could be being sneaky or cowardly and someone's scared. So someone could be scared um, about a high priest or priestess finding out about what they did to take them off of their path or screw them up or um, just <clears throat> cause them problems or barriers. They could be scared because someone's going to be upset or somebody is upset about somebody getting their Ten of Cups, their happiness. Someone could be upset to find out about... Okay, so somebody could be upset who wants to be your Ten of Cups or sees happiness with you, family security, um, like a happy, stable family. They could be upset to find out what a coward did, what somebody was doing, being really sneaky. And the person that did this is very scared about something being exposed or known. But the person that wants to be with you, whoever your divine counterpart is, they're upset. Possibly because of some sort of blockage or whatever they found out that was done to you. Somebody was disloyal. There was like a high priest or high priestess in the reverse here that was disloyal. That caused a betrayal in some sort of way. To get someone off of their path or to keep them off of their path. <coughs> someone here could have betrayed you for this person. Spell work could have been done. Um, some sort of illusion could have been created. But there was not a positive outcome regarding some sort of betrayal from someone who was in the reverse. High priest or priestess that was in the reverse. They're sad they didn't have a positive outcome and something didn't pan out. There was a love situation that didn't work out. So somebody could have chose a counterfeit, a copy, or a karmic. Um... They could have betrayed you with this person, or the person that they were connected to was this high priest or high priestess energy. And they could have been creating illusions to keep this um, person from coming towards you, um, to stop them from getting on their path to come towards you. <clears throat> Somebody could be finding out what someone did to try to stop them from going towards their divine counterpart. And um, the links they went to, and they're going to be very upset because they see you as their happiness here. So, let's see. Somebody took something that belonged to you with the Ace of Wands. Somebody withheld a gift or took something that was very valuable to you. Um, sometimes the Ace of Wands can be seen as the male phallic as well. So, somebody could have wanted your masculine. Um, so, this could have been a feminine who wanted a masculine. Um, but somebody withheld a gift or didn't give a gift or... Um, you know, it's like somebody just wanted to take something that didn't belong to them. King of Wands here. <laughs> Which makes sense. Um, because he's holding his wand there. Um, his staff and the Ace of Wands came out right before that. So, it could have been a King of Wands who was deceived. This could be somebody who was in a leadership position. This could have been somebody who betrayed you in the past. But they may have been under some sort of illusion or some sort of spell work or deception. Um, there's somebody here who's scared about this person finding out about what they've done. Um, it could also be the King of Wands who's scared about you finding out what they've done to you um, to stop you from finding your person or hooking up with your divine counterpart. So take it how it resonates to your situation. Somebody, somebody who withheld something from you or took something from you that belonged to you. Things didn't work out as sweet as they thought it was going to be. Um, <clears throat> there could be a lot of drama going on. There's a big tower moment coming for a King of Wands here. Because somebody was hiding their true personality or their true intentions. And the events are out of everyone's control. So this could have been a King of Wands who was dealing with the High Priestess in the Reverse. Meanwhile, you could be the High Priestess in the Upright, the Divine Femme, you know, or Masculine, just depending on which energy you're in. So 
somebody only cared about a treasure or being viewed as a treasure. So somebody was just kind of like a thief. It's like they wanted the Ace of Wands. They wanted your Seven of Cups. Um, they wanted to affect your peace. So somebody could have thought that if they affected your peace and had you in some sort of, you know, emotions or, you know, feeling some kind of way, that they could, like, energy harvest off of you or copy you or mimic you. Somebody wanted what didn't belong to them. This includes the masculine. This is somebody who wanted to have your gifts, your talents, um, however talented you are. You know, you have multiple here um, with the Seven of Cups. And you were at peace. And somebody who is like your complete opposite didn't want this for you. They wanted it for themselves. This could be the King of Wands. Or this is somebody who wanted the King of Wands. And they thought that if they were attached to this King of Wands that... um it would bring them these things. We have the Knight of Wands here, so there was some sort of information or communication that somebody withheld to disrupt somebody's peace here, to try to steal their treasure. There's some sort of communication, a message, information that somebody used to betray another person um, so this could have been somebody who was lying or just omitting details um, about you or about this person. But somebody is thinking about you and having fond memories of you, and they want to celebrate you. They're reminiscing. This King of Wands is thinking about you. If you're their divine counterpart here, um, or you could be thinking about them. Um, there's a lot of happiness or fond memories that this person has. And somebody was trying to interfere or stop some sort of communication from happening. Or from them finding out um, what kind of treasure you really are. A treasure doesn't necessarily have to be something of monetary value, but it could be. Um, but somebody, somebody was trying to block some sort of communication or message about... Um, it's like they were trying to stop them from coming towards you and they were trying to stop you from communicating with this person or stop them from communicating with you because somehow they know that they've been thinking about you or reminiscing about you and they, maybe they've been bringing up your name recently. Yeah, somebody created a financial imbalance. Somebody didn't have gifts. Somebody could have been wanting your gifts or talents here, your treasure, um, so that they could make some sort of money or resources. And whoever this is that tried to interfere or stop some sort of communication may have taken a financial hit or their finances may be imbalanced. Um, there may have been a financial imbalance to a divine femme or masculine because of whatever information was withheld because somebody was trying to take that treasure. But someone is watching to see if some sort of communication is coming through because they know this person is thinking about you. So like I said, somebody could have been bringing up your name or mentioning you. And maybe they haven't done that for a while. And this triggered somebody. And they're watching to see if some sort of communication or information has come through. This could even be information from a court system or something like that. Or some sort of judgment. But someone is watching. And they're trying to trigger your memories. Or they wonder, they're wanting to know if you're thinking about them as much as you're thinking about as much as they're thinking about you. But whoever this is that tried to stop this person from coming towards you, um, or from you going towards this person, they're watching because somebody was trying to keep it hidden that they lost a significant amount of money or they were trying to take a significant amount of money with a ton of pentacles here. There's some sort of secret that's being withheld or hidden regarding a significant amount of money. And somebody could have thought if they took this money or got a hold of this money, it would help them. But you're the Empress. The Empress came out sideways, so you could be the Empress if you're the Divine Femme, or you could be the King of Wands here if you're the Masculine. But someone rushed in with some sort of lies, communica communication, regarding some sort of communication or a message. So somebody rushed in with some sort of lies, they're trying to hide the truth. This could be about money or finances. But somebody wants to come towards you and make you this love offer, this Ace of Cups, and someone is watching. 
to see if they've come towards you yet because somebody could have walked away from another person who had an addiction or obsession so this person could have been addicted or obsessed with becoming like you or being you or trying to copy you or imitate you someone is walking away from some sort of addiction or obsession so this could be somebody who wants to heal themselves as well this could be a king of wands who normally would be you know in the reverse this person is very flighty um kind of non-committal um they could be wanting to give up that and kind of set to settle down in like a monogamous relationship or situation because there was an imbalance that was created when somebody rushed in with these lies and this um you know somebody was really trying to interfere with someone's money and relationships somebody really did not want this relationship or situation to happen and this king of wands wants to settle down they see um, this empress as their ten of cups their happiness and somebody is walking away from somebody so that they can come make a love offer to somebody to their divine counterpart because there was an imbalance created and something has to be balanced out and made right There's a group of people here talking. There's a lot of people talking. There could be um, somebody secretly meeting up or there could be a meeting. Um, there's a lot of talk about somebody rushing in with lies. So some sort of truth could be being exposed about what um, this high priest or priestess in the reverse said or did. They could have lied about you, um, slandered you. They could have you know like forged documents or forged your name or something somebody tried to take a ton of pentacles a significant amount of money but there's a big transformation coming here there's a change and someone is taking a moment that someone is reflecting excuse me with the hangman energy there's a group of people here that are reflecting about a transformation or some sort of change a death and a rebirth about something ending and something new beginning here There's a group of people trying to figure out how to change a situation, how to bring balance back to something. There could have been a group of people here that turned their back on somebody, all because somebody was a coward and they didn't want to admit the truth. There's a message about a new start, a new beginning, possibly an inheritance or a large lump sum of money here. You know, you could be moving, traveling, you could be getting a new job, a new house, you know, a new relationship. And there's a message regarding this with the Page of Wands. Whoever this two-faced coward was, they're not getting a clean slate. They don't get to start over. They're not getting their happiness based off a of divine femur masculine. It's just not going to happen. But there's a lot of conflict going on. So there's a lot of people fighting, a group of people fighting over a message of money. And this could even be an inheritance. This could even be a family. So there could be a group of people, a family, fighting because you have a significant amount of money coming towards you and they're not getting a clean slate because they did something really underhanded and dirty. This could be possibly to steal some sort of inheritance or stop you from finding out about it. Because if you get this money and you get your new start, if you get your new beginning, if you get your Ace of Pentacles, then this person that wants to come towards you and make a love offer towards you is more likely to do that. And somebody was really jealous and they didn't want this person to come towards you. Maybe they view this person as someone who is seen as high honor or, or in good standing within the community and somebody didn't want you to end up with someone better than they ended up with. Um, maybe their family life is kind of in chaos and um, if this person is comparing themselves to you, uh, they could be upset that you would be getting, you know, what you want, like a calm you know, happy family, and they don't have that. Like, someone is just very jealous and envious of somebody's life or whatever gifts, talents they have. Um, so you could be on social media, or maybe you don't even advertise whatever gifts you are, but someone is very jealous of those gifts. And so somebody tried to withhold some sort of information, and they lied about possibly how you operate in your gifts or whatever gifts you have. <clears throat> But you're seen as someone who was held in high honor. This was a karmic relationship. This is a karmic situation. Somebody who was connected to you was a karmic. Or somebody, or your divine counterpart is connected to a karmic here. Because we have the Queen of Cups here. Someone who is loving and caring and emotionally stable. And there's an emotional situation surrounding this person. Because there's a group of people here who could have done you really dirty. <clears throat> 
based on some sort of lie. And somebody was not caring and compassionate towards you. They didn't come towards you with an offer. And then we have the King of Cups here. So there's somebody who wants to have this new start, this new beginning with you. But somebody was not caring and compassionate. They were not empathetic. They could have said you were a bad parent or something like that. Or this could have even been, like, there could have been a parental figure involved in something here. Children could have been involved. Somebody didn't come towards you with an offer because of some sort of information that was said about you. And then we have the King of Cups here. And there's a group of people fighting possibly about this King of Cups coming towards you. Or because of something that this King of Cups did. This person could be emotionally unbalanced. Usually in the upright, someone who is balanced. But there's also a lot of negativity surrounding this card too. So... <clears throat> Somebody may try to portray themselves as emotionally balanced, but hide the fact that they're not. Um, there's someone here who's wanting to go towards their divine counterpart, but we have the... Um, who's that other mask? The King of Wands here. We have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. This person could want, it could be the same person or it could be two different masculines here, but this person was not empathetic or compassionate to you in the past. And they didn't come towards you with an offer because of some sort of lie. Someone is thinking about money. So there's a King of Cups here. This King of Cups could be who's thinking about money. Somebody was not in their life's calling and they made a bad decision to try to affect someone's life's calling or take someone's life calling. Um, or try to stop them from building a legacy or receiving a legacy because they were in despair over something. They felt like betrayed, like they were very jealous. Something is being laid to rest. This could be a situation. This could be a family member or betrayal. So there could have been a funeral or, um, you know, somebody could have passed away or somebody is going to pass away. And somebody is worried about some sort of money that they're expecting to get. A high priestess something is being laid to rest regarding a high priestess that this person is the real deal that they're authentic and that somebody told some sort of lie about them and tried to take a significant amount of money and their career and their job and there was a betrayal here so there was a betrayal con concerning somebody's legacy or life's calling whatever work that they were doing somebody lied about your work they could have called you unstable unbalanced um I mean, they could have, uh, um, you know, like, costed you your job. Like, you could have gotten fired or something because of this person or had problems in your career. All because somebody was a coward and they were being two-faced and they are easily influenced. They fell for the low-hanging fruit and you healed from whatever heartbreak this was. <clears throat> All because somebody told a big lie and they didn't think anyone would find out about it. They didn't think you would find out about it. Um, so it could be a masculine that was trying to keep another masculine from coming towards their divine counterpart because we have the King of Wands here and then we have the King of Cups. So there could be somebody who is emotionally balanced and loving and stable and wants to be with you, but um, there was someone here, the King of Wands could have been the person... Um, who maybe cheated on you, was disloyal to you, but they didn't want you hooking up with somebody who actually does love you and who is going to appreciate you. So they could have said some really bad things. This could have been someone that you worked with. So maybe somebody, this King of Wands could have found out um, that this King of Wands or King of Cups wanted to come towards you. And so they could have gotten you fired and said that you were a bum or this or that or the other. There's communication coming in regarding some, some pentacles here, a nine of pentacles, a significant amount of money. Something that you've been waiting for, especially when it comes to finances. So you could be getting some sort of information or communication regarding money. This could be a job. This could be a settlement, um, the inheritance. But <clears throat> somebody told a lie to stop you from moving or traveling or to stop something from coming towards you or someone. And so they created an illusion, but you still have this money that's coming towards you and they can't stop it. But it wasn't for a lack of trying. Somebody really did try to stop you from getting this. 
and the offer you've been waiting for is coming towards you. So whatever money you've been waiting for, finances that you've been expecting, you're going to get this. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't know about it. Because someone was trying to keep it hidden and they told some sort of lie about it. They could have lied about how much money. Um, they could have intercepted a message regarding money. So you could have gotten some sort of notification, some sort of mail communication regarding some sort of money. And somebody created an illusion to stop you from getting this. Um, they could have tried to steal it. And not only that, but they chose, um, you know, they wanted your gifts, your talents. It's like somebody was very jealous of you, whether it was the person you're with or somebody that they chose um, over you that was trying to copy you or imitate you. There was a betrayal. There was a huge betrayal. And there's something significant to do with money because someone was really trying to stop a divine fem or masculine here from getting a significant amount of money. <clears throat> Somebody couldn't stop dealing with a third party or somebody was, you know, um, always involved in a third party situation or involved you in a third party situation. That's who um, was creating these illusions. So that could have been the king of wands. Somebody who was non-committal that didn't want to settle down and they didn't want this king of cups to come towards you and make you a solid offer. It could also, also be the same person who betrayed you that's trying to come back and make you this offer because... Their past the relationship that they chose over you that third party situation didn't work out and you have options so you have the four of cups and the seven of cups here it's like you don't just have a few options you're going to have a whole lot of options that are opened up to you once you could receive this money and this person wanted to attach themselves to you like if something didn't work out with a person that they chose they wanted the opportunity to come back to you so for some of you, the King of Wands and the King of Cups are the same person. It's someone who betrayed you, um, but they want to come back to you and make you a love offer. But for some of you, it's two different masculines. So somebody was doing some really shady shit to you, the King of Wands energy in the reverse, even though they came out in the upright, um, <clears throat> that's just because they're still in your energy or they're trying to get back in your energy or you're dealing with them now or they're going to be coming back in the near future or future. They wanted you homeless. They wanted, they could have, oh shoot. So they could have said that you were like, a couch hopper or something like that, or you only slept with people for a place to stay. Um, they could have said you were homeless, that you, um, you know, that you were trash, that you were like a trash lady, trash man, or something like that. Somebody thought they were really slick in doing this, or they thought they were going to stop you from getting this money or resources by putting you out on the streets or leaving you out on the streets. <clears throat> you could have been homeless or something when this relationship ended. Yeah, somebody wanted you to not know where to go or have anybody um, to be left alone. So somebody could have said that no one wants you or that you're nasty and, um, you know, so that no one would come towards you. Someone is confused that something didn't work, that some sort of lie didn't work because they thought you were really quiet and reserved, possibly an introvert. They may have thought you didn't have anyone that would help you out or that would want to be with you if they said all these lies, but that's not what's happening. Now someone's questioning whether or not they want to be married to someone or be in a committed relationship with someone. Someone's like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, 
this person, you or this other person, could have backed out of a marriage. You could have been engaged to this person or married to this person. Let's get a few more cards here. <clears throat> So somebody could be stuck in a marriage because of a child. So somebody could have had a child. Somebody could have said they were pregnant. But somebody wants to bail from this relationship because they want to come towards you and make you a love offer and help you out and partner up with you. So whoever this third party was, they could have gotten pregnant. They could have gotten married. There's an end. There's an end to a marriage. There's going to be a divorce here. That, that's an end all, okay? So somebody doesn't want to be married anymore. <clears throat> but they could have a child together or children. Someone is trapped or feels trapped. There's somebody here who's trying to keep another person trapped or stuck within this couple and it could be a couple who's trying to keep somebody trapped and stuck but it's somebody within this couple i feel like that is being dark and they feel like they've done their job by keeping someone stuck by using a child but there's an ending coming to this person being stuck or feeling stuck someone is going to escape from this situation somebody here didn't help another person when they needed it if somebody was out on the streets at, you know when they were homeless it's like somebody's Somebody's counterpart failed them because they were connected to their karmic here. And they could have had children with them. They could have been trapped. But they couldn't help the person they're supposed to be with because they were attached to this person and they were trying to make it work. They were trying to do the right thing. Um, but you could have seriously needed help and they weren't there to help you when you needed them. Could have even asked this person for help. <clears throat> so someone, someone didn't help a feminine energy, a mother figure, or somebody chose to help someone else or work with somebody else other than their divine counterpart. Someone is lying so that they can throw some more bullshit your way. So someone may still be being um, dishonest and lying about them throwing curveballs at another person or intentionally causing some havoc so that this person won't come towards you. <clears throat> this could be the person, this could be the karmic who's attached to your divine counterpart who's scared about them finding out about what they did to stop this person from coming towards their divine counterpart. And that, that could be what's going to trigger this person to be pissed off because something is going to be revealed. Something is going to be brought to the surface. <clears throat> it's going to be made known. Somebody could be using multiple people. There could be a group of people here that are fighting because they were trying to keep this person trapped and stuck. So <clears throat> there's a group of people here that are lying to somebody, trying to keep them from finding out the truth. They could be a, there could be an entire group of people here who's gaslighting someone, but they are watching and spying, trying to figure out how they can screw this person's life up even more so they can't get this money so somebody could have been there's a group of people here who could have been trying to steal this money and they thought that um they were gonna get this and they're just they're not they feel like if they can keep this person trapped and stuck they're going to get some sort of money or the divine counterpart so there's a group of people here okay so if this is like you and your divine counterpart so there could be a group of people if you're not the married person there could be a group of people trying to keep you stuck and single and keep throwing barriers in your path. But there's also your divine counterpart who could be married and attached to a karmic with a child. And that person is causing barriers for them. So it's like you guys have two, you know, like you're both working. You have both sides that have opposition working against you to stop this union from coming together. And from someone receiving money <clears throat> so 
So here, somebody thought that they married an official person. So this is somebody who could have thought that they married an official person, but this is giving me like hierophant energy in the reverse. So somebody could have married a false spiritualist, false teacher, you know, fake, a fraud. Somebody who acts like they're in the upright, but they're not. That empress energy in the reverse. So somebody married someone that um, they got duped, okay? They got tricked. The truth is coming out. Someone is going to speak the truth about someone just putting on a show. Um, this could be them revealing their feelings that they don't want to be in this marriage anymore, that they don't want to be attached to this person. Some sort of truth is going to be being spoken or brought out regarding this person who is putting on a show. They want to grow old with their divine counterpart. Um, there could be an older couple that's putting on a show or putting on a front as well. So, um... There could be a married couple that's part of this group that's working against some sort of union as well. Um, but there's some sort of truth that's being spoken about an older married couple or about somebody putting on a show about them wanting to grow old with somebody else. Somebody is just tired of a marriage and they want out. Somebody was could have been being stalked. Like, there's a group of people here or somebody here who's guarding and watching somebody to see if someone's coming towards them and someone's about to be um very um, confused here <clears throat> as to how something managed to happen or that somebody is speaking the truth some sort of secret or feelings or emotions are going to be um expressed there could be somebody here you know this could be an older couple and um, maybe the, one of these people want to get divorced. Maybe they stayed together for the kids. Maybe the kids are grown or something like that. But there's someone here who's convinced that, or not convinced, confused, that somebody is feeling protective over you as well. So somebody could be feeling protective over you. So maybe this is like some in-laws or something, or <coughs> your parents someone is upset or confused about um an older couple or a married couple here that are feeling protective over possibly someone's divine counterpart <clears throat> so if they see that um like say it's a masculine that married their karmic and had a child like um the masculine's parents or something like that um you know and just flip the roles as needed it could be um feeling protective over the divine femme so you the divine femme may have been connected to this person at one time um or maybe they're a friend of the family or something or they know that this masculine wants to go towards them but they also know that there's a crazy ass karmic that's causing all kinds of drama so i mean just there's a lot that i'm seeing like two different situations here so for some of you the king of wands and the king of cups are the same person and for some of you, they're two different people, and, um, you know, someone's just very confused. <clears throat> a group, that was on the top, a group is involved. So, a, there's a group that's confused, and someone is feeling desperate. So, someone is feeling desperate within that group. Someone is suffering in silence. So someone here who is confused is suffering in silence. It could be your divine counterpart or you. Someone could be confused about you suffering in silence, about you keeping things to yourself, just going in true, you know, inward. <clears throat> so maybe you are more of an introvert, okay? You don't advertise your problems, your troubles. Someone could be confused as to why you're not speaking out about something. Someone could also be confused um, about leaving a marriage or a situation and going towards their divine counterpart as well so someone may be kind of stuck at that two of swords at a crossroads not knowing which direction to take and there's a group that's feeling desperate because they know their time is running out to get some sort of money that um they couldn't stop this person from getting they were trying to stop someone from getting money because they thought they were going to get it or intercept it so this group could have been stealing someone's mail thinking they were going to get mail 
but you could have had your mail rerouted to like a different address or somewhere else, but someone is watching your mail and they're trying to steal it from you so that you don't get something. Um, you're obsessed, let it go. Good cops, good law officials in the reverse. So there's bad law officials that are connected to something and they need to let it go. <clears throat> they don't want to be exposed. So there's a group of corrupt officials here that's connected to this group that are desperate as to why you're suffering in silence and not speaking out about something. There's a soulmate connection here and someone is just wasting their time. They didn't change, they're still the same. So somebody that you could have a soul connection to or a soul tie to could be wasting their time because they didn't change, they're still the same. So for those of you who this is the same person, this King of Wands and the King of Cups, they didn't change, <clears throat> they're still the same person. Now, for some of you where these two are two separate masculines, your King of Cups <clears throat> is connected to their karmic and the karmic didn't change and they're wasting their time because this is your soulmate so see how that works out like there's two different scenarios here because of this you know this is a collective read so it's, it's going both ways somebody's spell work backfired so somebody was doing some shady shit whether this was legit spell work um <clears throat> Or um, just somebody throwing rocks, hiding hands, you know, doing some very shady, manipulative stuff in the 3D here. Someone was scammed. Someone's a thief. They didn't change. Someone is still a thief. They're still trying to steal something. They're still connected to a group of people here. For those of you who had to deal with that king of wands who wants to come and make you this love offer, they're still scamming them. And for some of you... Um, for the King of Cups situation here, who's married to their karmic or connected to this karmic, their karmic is a thief, and they didn't change. And someone is deceiving themselves by thinking otherwise, by thinking that you're going to believe them when they come to you with this love offer, or it is this karmic that your divine counterpart is connected to that's deceiving themselves by thinking that um, this is going to be a long-lasting relationship and your divine counterpart's not going to come towards you because eventually they are. <clears throat> somebody just just doesn't want to be lonely and they blame you and we have lovers here being controlled by spirits so whoever this third party was that wanted to be you copy you imitate you they could have like a mimicking spirit about them um not mimicking them but mimicking you, like a, a copycat kind of thing. Like, it's a mimic spirit, kind of, but it's like, um, instead of, like, the spirit trying to copy or imitate them, they want this person to feel like they're good enough. Because this mimic spirit can't attach to someone who's high vibrational, right? <clears throat> they can't attach to the high priestess. But they can attach themselves to the counterpart, right? So they've attached to this counterpart who wanted to, them to think that they needed to be like you or that they were you for some reason like someone has deceived themselves into thinking that they're the real deal because they don't want to be lonely but they're being controlled by spirit so somebody is somebody has a bad spiritual connection to someone and that could have to do with some sort of spell work that they were tampering with because now they've racked up some sort of spiritual karmic debt there is a ex-boyfriend or girlfriend involved so if you were not married to this person or someone was connected to a karmic, maybe they didn't get married, maybe somebody was going to get married and they could have found out the child wasn't theirs or something. <clears throat> um, there's an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that's involved in this, and there really is no good reason. Somebody just is doing what they're doing because they're being controlled by spirits, they're not themselves, they don't know how to be themselves. And you moved on. So you could have moved on from this ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or your divine counterparts trying to move on from this person. And they're holding themselves back because they're not real, they're not authentic. You know, a secret society, a religious group, or a cult is involved in this as well. They're guilty and they know they're guilty. But someone wants to tell you the truth, that they listen to rumors... And someone was just trying to cover stuff up. And someone was just being spiteful. <clears throat> and you have a whole group of people here trying to gaslight you. And someone lied and said they were single to get you. You may have recently upped your spiritual protection. Especially with this new portal that's opened up. It's good for you. Um, you may need to up your spiritual protection. 
because this group is still working on attacking you. There was not an equal give and take in this situation. Someone just wanted to take, take, take. <clears throat> Whether this is somebody you're connected to or your divine counterpart. Somebody was definitely not the stuff dreams are made out of. Somebody is just a bottomless pit. They're just greedy and they're not going to stop. They could be crying because they know they're, or they're going to be finding out they're not getting what they thought they were going to get. They thought they were going to get this money from you or some sort of inheritance. Maybe they wanted to marry you so that they could get some sort of money or an inheritance or life insurance policy or something like that. A Sagittarius could be significant. Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be significant. Water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be significant. And Gemini could be significant as well. <clears throat> So we have somebody that loved and lost you, or somebody that loved and lost. Something was not an equal give and take here. Love is blind. Somebody could have been blinded. They were wearing the rose-colored glasses. Um, so they could have been also blinded by a love spell or illusions that were created. They really thought that they loved this karmic, if this is that situation here. Somebody does something in the nighttime, an older person, so this person is older and wiser or older than dirt, but just because they're older doesn't mean they're smarter. Um, but somebody was blinded by something, or someone here who is older was doing something in the nighttime. This could be love spell, spell work, or <clears throat> this could have been an older person who was doing something um, in the nighttime in the fall. So there's something significant about the fall and an older person doing something in the nighttime to try to keep somebody blind from the truth. This could be like love bombing, anything like that. Someone's going to get their happily ever after by the winter time or in the winter time here. Because someone's going to see the writing on the wall and someone wants to kiss and make up with you with somebody who's younger. So you could be younger. There could be an age difference here between you and the person that wants to come towards you if this is the King of Cups. And the same if it's the King of Wands and the King of Cups being the same person. There could be an age difference um, somebody could be slightly older or something like that. Someone here is as ugly as sin. This could be your ex or this could be the karmic they're attached to. Um, if this is your divine counterpart. <clears throat> Someone who is ugly as sin is finding out that they missed the boat. They missed their opportunity to be a thief. Because you, um, you know, you weather the storm. You could have lived under the same person roof as this person you could have lived together at one time or they could have tried to get you to move in with them or live with them so that you would be easier to manipulate to target to steal from to possibly unalive if you had you know a life insurance policy on you you do everything with a you know a good heart good intentions labor of love you do things with a loving caring heart you count your blessings you just accepted something for what it is you know it is what it is um and better late than never um, it doesn't matter how long this person waits or how soon this person comes back to you if this is a karmic person or an ex that did you dirty and, it, you know, for the thief. Um, you're not going to take them back. You're not interested. Um, but also on the flip side of that, better late than never if this is your divine counterpart and they're getting rid of the karmic and they could be um, separating or... Um, someone could be moving out. It's just maybe taking a while. So something could be turning around or changing by, um, you know, the fall or the winter time. Someone feels like their back is up against a wall because someone was not sincere. And then we have a Leo here. What goes around comes around on Sunday. Someone's falling off the wagon or going off the, wa the wall here because someone was not one in a million. They were lying. They were a counterfeit and they brought themselves under judgment. And then I have a Gemini here that's about to go through some trials and tribulations. And then I have a, um, a Pisces and a Cancer here and someone is going to be in their worst nightmare because somebody could want to partner up with a Cancer or Pisces. Um, the false person could have been a Gemini. You know. There's a lot of science coming out. <clears throat> There's something significant that's going to be happening in the summer and June time for a Cancer or Pisces. 
or or cancer and pisces um, because somebody thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby they thought it would be easy and um you know they thought it would be as easy as one two three so somebody there's a thief here who thought by summertime they had something sealed and you know in the bag here all right i hope this helps somebody let's get some others here and close this out all right person place or thing letter y could be significant somebody could be asking themselves why they chose someone else a so yeah <clears throat> Yaya, yeah, the divine secrets of the yaya. Yeah, yeah. Sisterhood could be significant. M, M, A, Y, May could be significant. Someone's name could be May. Maryland, Mayford. Um, Mayford, that could be like a last name. I've never heard of it, but Mayford could be a, a name. Someone's last name. <clears throat> F, Candy DMs. Somebody could really like Candy DMs. A, somebody just wanted to be famous. So somebody did something in May, um, it, they could have wanted like their 15 minutes of fame, they could have been trying to copy, imitate, I mean somebody was really just E. So somebody could have been calling on Faye, um, so F-A-E, Faye spirits or deity, something, whatever, um, like that to help them out. O. So somebody could have been doing some spell work involving phase, um, or the phase. <clears throat> um, someone's mom is significant. Um, someone's mom could be involved in this. So someone's mom did something in May. They could have been trying to con <laughs> that. All, that rhymes. Faye. May. Faye. Mom. So those are significant. I'll do three more. N. Somebody could be a mom, you could be a mom. I, one more. Well, I said one more and then I had a bunch fall out. I have another I, so somebody is being watched for sure. Another O. And then I have another Y. And then this looks like an L that was broken off. So someone's a lion. So, so Leo could be significant. Someone is lion. I'm hearing lion of Judah. That could be significant as well. So I have M A two Y's, F A E M O M. Then I have L two I's. Um, I have two O's and then an N. Okay. I hope this helps. Have a good day.